Cell 411 is a free app for Android and iOS that replaces government-controlled 911. Cell 411 allows you to preset a group of friends or private organizations to show up in any emergency. Cell 411 is a nightmare for the state because it proves their so-called services aren't needed. Cell 411 has had thousands of installs, and of course it's covered by the BitCot No Government License. Cell 411 because your friends won't shoot you when you're in trouble. Without the government, who would build the emergency services? You and Cell 411. Get it today at Get Cell cell411.com that's get cell411.com This is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends radio show. I've run websites since 1996 and have used over a dozen web hosts in that time. agoristhosting.com is the only one that hasn't broken my heart. Agorist Hosting's uptime and service is stellar and their DDoS mitigation is the best I've seen. That's important because if you tell the truth in this world, you'll ruffle feathers. No matter what the haters hit us with, Agorist Hosting keeps our websites online. If you have a mission critical commercial presence or a world changing activism site, go with agoristhosting.com. Religion says you have to do this and this and this. Freedom says you can do whatever you want. Yeah. So I, if our religion is doing whatever the fuck we want, then yes. Hand, hand me a strainer so I can put it on my head and let's go do it. Seeds of liberty. 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 Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 98th episode of the Seeds of Liberty podcast. As always, we are covered by a BIPCOT no government license. This allows reuse by anyone except governments and the agents thereof. You can find out more information about this at BIPCOT.org. So we are back. I am Jeremy, joined as always by Dave. We have Andre here again with us this week. And hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, what's up, Andre? And we have Jason Booth returning after it took us almost two years to get him on the podcast. Now he just won't go away. So, Jason, <laughs> nice to have you back, buddy. Yay. How's it going? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. How are you guys doing tonight? All right. Yeah, not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Yeah. Thanks for coming back on the show, Jason. Oh, uh, no problem. All right. And thanks for coming back on the show, Andre. Thank you. I appreciate being noticed. <laughs> yes, Andre. Thanks. Well, you, I, I, really, I really do like your guys perspective on things a, a lot I, I check i check out what you guys have to say on certain things uh, and it, it you guys are really succinct a lot I, I appreciate that from both of you yeah well i i try to be i mean it's it's a lot it's a lot better when you're concise instead of just you know going it by line item all the time so he's trying to get it as, as succinct and concise as possible has always been my goal are you, are you trying oh yeah to... Lo- logical consistency and always heading towards freedom are you, are you trying to say that, uh, that that being verbose is a bad thing, Andre? You're trying to say something? Uh, not necessarily a bad thing because I'm a writer, <laughs> so I pretty much have to be. But I have, that I being have my said, of verbosity. <laughs> that, that being said, when you're trying to dis- when you're trying to describe something like, especially like morality and ethics and stuff like that, it pays to be concise. It pays yeah. to be concise. Yeah. Being Read verbose and wordy does not help. You. <laughs> Well, you know, some of us just don't know another way, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes you have to be, especially when you're defining your terms. And I think I talked to, uh, I talked to somebody about that. I don't know. It was a Facebook post, but it was it was talking about how you pretty much have to define your terms all the time nowadays. And it it is kind of crummy to have to do it, but I mean, there's plenty of circumstances where you just there's no other way because the person you're trying to argue with is just going to twist definitions well, yeah. around and like not they're just going to use their own definition and never describe what it is and just argue past you and well, start screeching loudly think of it like this andre you walk up you walk into the arcade you look over across and somebody's sitting there at the ice hockey thing you walk up and they're like want to play high hockey and you're like yeah and they grab a tennis racket and you're like hey what is that uh, that's not allowed but that's what's happening when you don't define the terms in a debate yeah or, or a discussion yep. really is the same shit like that and they're gonna say hey i'm whooping your ass and you're like well of course <laughs> You're not even playing the game. Like, what the? You're fuck not are even you doing? playing the game. Yeah. I keep hearing Dave. I'm sorry, we got off on a tangent. No, anyway, it's it's fine. Moving. I keep hearing Dave echo. I was going to mention that at the beginning, but we started talking. So any echoing people here? That's all Dave. We finally got Dave. My finally apologies. went around and, and got got new headphones on upon my request. Except he ordered ones from China that took forever to get here, and apparently they're even worse than his last ones. So good job, Dave, or good job, China. That's because they sound they're better. made in China. 
they sound better. I they may sound they better use. to you, but they're also <laughs> they're making it more they're making more of an <laughs> echo on our end, which is not good, Dave. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? In his defense, he probably got the set that were made by the three year olds and not the five year olds. That's so, probably what happened. Yeah, that's it, shift it, change it on it a takes, Friday. It happens. Yeah, it it takes a good two years to get used to that, all that soldering and you know. or, or or oh yeah or or it could be because you know this particular model that looked all fancy that was that was on such a quote unquote sale was on that sale for a reason. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because it was a mass, pro- regardless of the age of the of the uh, workers, it was a mass produced piece of garbage. So, <laughs> well, I wanted to throw that in because, as you know, uh, us voluntarists and anarchists, we hate children as well as the poor and the sick and the elderly. So, I just wanted to throw that out there. You know, never yeah, never miss an opportunity to bring up sweatshops and child labor. Well, yeah, what, listen, you, what kind of capitalist are you if you, if you don't envision yourself sitting on the on the top of the, the the dead children that have died in your factory, duh. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Pave the roads <laughs> with the dead. Yeah, yeah, look, and then you grind up their bones and sell it as calcium uh, additives or something. It's it, guys, <laughs> you're trying to waste stream into a uh, profit, you know, stream. I think this has taken an extremely dark path already, and I don't even. <laughs> well, you know, that's what happens when you involve those now. evil capitalists. I, that's right. Capitalism is the root of all evil. Apparently. All it. It's the first neck on the Hydra. <laughs> That's right. God, oh my God. I saw that picture and I was just like, why? Why, God? Why? Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. That, uh, yeah. Because yeah, Dave, logical consistency is too hard for some people, Andre. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, Lord, I, I, I know it, Jason. I, I started, my eyes started to get really blurry just trying to look at that because it hurt so much. Like, I saw capitalism on that, at the, what we're describing for people who don't know. There was a picture floating around. I don't know. Dave gave it to me to make it into another meme. But it was a dragon, somebody fighting a dragon, but it, you know, it said capitalism on the neck with a line of that's where you're supposed to cut. And then above it on all the legs, on the... It was like the worst shit ever. It was like, like racism, it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was like bureaucracy, patriarchy. the patriarchy, everything else was on the heads of the Hydra. But capitalism was the, what you needed, that's where you needed to cut and it would get rid of all this other stuff. And it, yeah, it was, it was painful to look yeah, at. Yeah, if we even, just stop free people trading, that would just fix every fucking thing in the whole fucking world, right? God, people yep. are retarded. <laughs> well, that goes right back to the conversation. Weren't you guys just talking about definitions and defining your terms? Yes. That's part yeah. of the problem. Yes. I know I know a lot of well, people. Well, yeah, most people falsely equivocate capitalism with corporate fascism. I, I, I understand and I get it because if that's what the only thing that they have, the only, dare I say, modicum of what they perceive as capitalism. Hey, uh, you got a gold star. They're going week, to they're going to equate it with fascism. They're going to say, oh, this is the free market, huh? Yeah, that's not the free market, kiddos. If it involves the government in any way, it's not the free market. Or yeah, the state. If it involves the state in any way, it's not free market. It's yeah, regulated. That, that, that's also a byproduct of the propaganda being perpetually perpetrated upon people. You know, They say, oh, we live in a capitalist, you know, capitalist economy. We live in a capitalist society. And then you see lobbying giving, what, like $3.4 billion to <laughs> senators last year? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that that's that's capitalism, you know, air quotes and Oh, this is totally yeah. free well, it's, trade. It's I, capi- just, I just I just lose capitalism some with a capital C. <laughs> it's capitalism with a capital C and a little TM on the end of it. So yeah. that's that's the kind of capitalism we're talking about. I call it crapitalism because <laughs> it really yeah. is crapitalism. With the S as a dollar sign. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. right. No, it's trademarked. I mean, can't so use it. So the the, these wild proposals from Trump to eliminate regulations have only been cheered from by me. What are your guys' thoughts on him? He, he did the executive order day one, Which basically, that was you got to eliminate oh, two, two for, for every one, one you want to propose. What's, I, what's your guys' thoughts on the whole thing? Well, that particular one, I mean, I don't know what other ones he's done since then, but that particular one, I, it's uh, just like a lot of things, sounds great, you know, pun intended, I guess, on paper, but mm-hmm. when, you know, in effect, when there are so many regulations to begin with that one can't even begin to count the number of regulations, I don't think there's a single human being 
on the planet who actually, yeah, you know, I don't, much less, <laughs> much, not even in the country, much less on the planet, you know, on the planet who, I mean, the other way around rather, but who knows every regulation. And there's so many that are already basically duplicates of ones that already exist. Just the wording has changed slightly. And on oh. top of that, every other agency is, has been churning out new ones by, by the year that even if th- that were to go ahead and be, you know, people start doing that, they will, number one, the first things to go, which will take a long time to go through, are all the completely useless ones that don't really do much of anything except reinforce other ones that will still be, they'll still find a way to be effective without them type of deal. Yeah. And, right. or it can, ve- just like every other bill that's pretty much ever been written, aside from the the, the proposed ones, I guess, recently by Massey and whoever the, the other guy was who wrote the one line, you know, basically the one line bills. Like Aside yeah. from that, pretty much every other bill that's been presented always has something else, at least one, usually more, things besides what the bill is supposed to be about packed inside oh. of it. So yeah, you could the, very... The car- carriers. Yeah, yeah, so you could very easily remove, the, you know, write write this new regulation but and have these other two removed, but, but stick the same exact thing in a different form right back in in the same exact process. And you don't think that's going to be abused over and over and over no, no, and yeah, over that's again? That's what I thought. It's That's a little too subjective unless it's going to be like hardline enforced some way because all they'd have to do is basically just say okay we're removing these two but we're putting them on the back end of this one where we're trying to replace so well just like the patriot just like the you know oh the patriot act it, you know they, they let it sunset <laughs> or they replaced it with the freedom act which was actually worse in a lot of ways <laughs> i wrote about it it's called uh what is that sh- what is it called piggyback legislation or something like that i can't remember. yeah 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 that's exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. Where they take a bill and then they'll just stuff as much as they can possibly. Yeah, it'll be put like the save the children and 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 preserve American Freedom Act, and in the very back end of it, it'd be like five yachts for like ten senators and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's like, it's well, like, well, shit, well we, if you we don't know, vote on this, then you're evil as fuck. <laughs> that's right. We know for a fact this omnibus bill is going to pass, so let's just cram it in with whatever the hell we can get away with, because we know yeah, for it's a almost fact a tragedy of the commons, huh? Oh uh, yeah. These regulations are a tragedy of the commons for the force of government, for the, that that state force apparatus to just come hammer down whoever can't pay the regulations or can't lobby for them, you know, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's another thing that's an issue with the regulations that the, a the, a they're they're so numerical that nobody has an idea how many there are or that can know all of them. But a lot of them are full of so much double speak and and lawyer talk that they're completely open to interpretation. Actually, right? I mean, I'm glad you I'm glad you brought that up. Go ahead, but I got something I want to add to that because uh, that, that's extremely relevant. You know, and and like I said, that they're open to interpretation. So what what one person says that this you know piece <laughs> of this these, these ten words over here mean somebody else could have a totally different interpretation of the word. I mean, you know, the law in, shouldn't be subjective, is what you're saying. You know, the yeah, oh yeah, yeah, but interpretation is totally subjective. <laughs> yes, and so to that point, to that point, the FDA deeming regulations that were passed on the vaping industry and that went into effect August the eighth. Specifically, there's lines in it about offering free samples. Now, my store offers free samples to customers, right? And we have since we've been open, since before I was working there. But stipulated in the regulations, it says that you can no longer offer free samples. Customers have to pay to try juice that you offer, the liquid that you sell in your store. And it must, the amount that they pay must be, quote, not a financially insignificant amount, end quote. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> so, like, yeah, like a, a penny, penny is a lot of money to me. That Does I mean, mean, if you're gonna, a that's quarter, subjective. A dollar, like it's gonna be what yeah. the judge decides. Obviously, that's, exa- com- that's exactly what it is. And I'm almost, I, I almost am a hundred percent certain that that was done intentionally. It depends it on how well your lawyer knows the judge. Of course, Andre. Exactly. that's all that matters. Well, yeah. exactly. So they can just come in there. On- so they it's can a just whole come in industry there and be of like, parasites, oh, well, man. Well, you're only charging twenty five cents. Oh, that's not enough. You know, well, there's a thirty thousand dollar <laughs> fine for you. There you go. You better better make sure you pay it. I mean, that's that's not to, that's not to say anything of the fact that these regulations themselves have closed down businesses like companies that we used to carry. Uh, one of them is a co- was a company called Provape. 
They made the Pravari Radius, uh, which was a fantastically well built device. It was made in, made here in the USA. That was their big selling point. But the so the device that they they made the Pravari Radius. I mean, it was it was expensive for what it was, but it was extremely precise, extremely well built. And like my boss, you know, my boss had one for the longest time. Dropped it in the lake, fished it back out. It still worked. You know, after he I let it dry out. So I mean. Right it, here. Yeah. yeah. So it's like 10 times what the Fuchai is. But ProVape has decided to shut down production of devices because they don't want to deal with the regulations. They don't want to deal with any market uncertainty that's going to be caused by these regulations. I See, how could they <laughs> circumvent that? They could, they could make the devices and say that they're not for whatever people are going to use it for? Well, it's like I tell customers. I mean, yeah, technically I can't build coils for you if you have a dripper. Like, I can't build your deck for you as an employee of the store. However, I am telling you verbatim, I, in my capacity as an employee, am not doing this for you. What I'm doing for you now, I am doing as a private citizen and not as a representative of the store. Yeah, off off the clock. Yeah, you could almost <laughs> charge for it. <laughs> no, because if I charge for it, then it's yeah. I'm endangering other people. If I don't charge it and offer it for See, free, this it's is why I have a little hope for Trump eliminating some of these regulations. He said he wants to slash down up to seventy. So I mean, even 70, if he gets wait, even 70, close what? to that, twenty five percent would be like a, a, the the hand on the neck getting just a little bit <laughs> loosened, so some more blood could get to the brain. But again, but, that, but even twenty five percent. But but again, se it's like what he said? He said seventy percent of what? Because that's just such a vague. That's of the that's total regulations that are on the books right now. I believe at the federal level. That's a whole lot of regulations because every, I yeah. I, I don't see I, even twenty five percent. That do you even see that as possible? Because well, I mean, here's here's the thing about that. He does have the power. Well, I mean, I also want to say he has the power, but the way he that does. the well within the system, well, he, well, no, he within does, the system, the way that the well, yeah within the system, yeah, the way that the federal system is set up, the executive branch are the ones board. that are yeah, there are they're the ones that are in charge of making these things happen and like. Just about all of the regulations for all the federal agencies, those are under the executive purview. So, well, well, that's yeah, but though, but but those those agencies in particular, you want to talk about if if we're talking about the, the the current paradigm and how it's structured and how it's you know quote unquote supposed to work. It, it he has according to that he has an even, even a bigger step than that because he can just wipe out the entire agency itself. He doesn't even have to yeah, take well, out yeah, the regulations. Yeah, well, yeah, no, I understand that. I understand that. I don't think he's going to do that. Well, that's, I don't know how that's, effective that's going to be. He could as do far that, as him. But here's you got to look at it from like the pr president view, I guess. Like it would probably be a b very bad political move for him to eliminate it via. Um, executive order but now if he lobbies but, for it and they pass it through congress and he signs the bill to eliminate it it's going to look a lot more democratic even though they do have a one-party rule and he basically could say hey this is what goes but i, I mean you're, you're dealing with millions of people's of jobs cool. and that's kind of what he's you know i mean he can't it, he's it's, he's in a he's in a rock and a hard place with the jobs thing like if he kills a lot of government jobs he's if you don't have Private replacements for them. I thought he put a. I thought he put a pay freeze to, or, to begin with. He or, did. Or he a put higher a higher and pay freeze. Rather. Yeah. So yep. I don't. That's so correct. that again, that does, that's what you just said before. That seems to be counter, you know, counterintuitive to <laughs> one. The other, to the other thing. Is, I just can't see him eliminating like a. a I, like I can't a, either, FBA. but that I can't either. But that's my. That's part of my point. I don't think it's necessarily the pressures from that. I think that that's been my sticking point the whole time. That this could easily be done this way. And you want to talk about the how the political moods would you know how people would take it? Well, it, it, didn't he didn't he run partially on the the, the constant type of the constitution type thing? Well, that whole line is for anybody who, regardless of where they consider themselves on the spectrum, for anybody who follows that line, what does that mean? Well, he's perfectly within his within his quote unquote rights, and he actually should be, since the since according to the Constitution, yeah. those agencies I mean, are constitutionally, super, yeah. uh, you know, they're not just because of you know they're not supposed to be there in the first yeah, place. They're not outlined. So, yeah, no, and, and yeah, no, I I totally get what you're saying. I just I, I mean, I don't have necessarily much faith that it's going to go through, but. It's nice to hear, I guess. Is about the best way even I can put if, it. I mean, if, I, I hope for the best. Like, like I said, even if twenty five percent of the current regulations and a regulation basically freeze has happened, 
that will bring life to the economy in 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 an in insane in insane way. Just twenty five percent. If he gets anywhere near his goal of seventy, it'll be like an economic. I don't know what. I, I, I yeah, can't but even again, imagine. there's there's no there's no way to get without him out, outwardly just going and putting executive it might come orders down to, that, man. to remove the agencies in order it to might go be through him in a bunker writing these executive orders in order to go through these. <laughs> In order to go through the political process and go through it like you were describing before, uh, and having the, you know, having this having it signed so it looks better type thing to the public, in order to do that with even even a quarter, I think even even less than that, even maybe like an eighth to even do that many would be near impossible in four or even eight years because of how long it would take to go through the process and how long the people how long the the people that oppose it always drag their feet in Congress and in the Senate. And that's how the game is played. Things are dragged out. Yeah. You know, th that's why yeah, certain not, things don't happen during a presidency that people really want them to, and it gets pushed off and it gets pushed off, and they find ways to hold off until the guy's out of office. And it's like, well, haha, now our guy's in, and now we don't have to worry about it for another four to eight years. Yeah, not 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 to mention also that the senators and and the uh, the representatives that would have to pass these bills, they have to get reelected, right? I mean, if if you're in coal country yeah. and you you pass regulations that are going to eliminate jobs. Or or eliminate, or what if you're a military or or yeah, you're no, in a heavy yeah, yeah. DEA or or whatever area? Like, there there are people that have huge government job incentives to vote certain ways. You're right, Jason. Like uh, not not senators. to mention the the lobbying money too. Oh huh, yeah, so they're gonna lose all that money. No, that's that. Like I said, this might yeah. all have to go down executive order. He might just have to just like they got made, just strike him from the, and then refuse to sign any budget that applies uh, any money to him. Well, even if it and, went and executive maybe order, the plan. it, it yeah, might even, have to be. I just even if it I'm went sorry, executive no, order, no one's, oh. no one's thinking of the let, angle let, that. Let, let Jason finish, David. Oh, go ahead. My bad. I was gonna say, even if it's executive order, it's gonna get tied up in court for five, six, seven, eight years before anything happens. Because you, you you know they're not gonna just let these jobs walk away, right? I mean, the both both no. parties both parties are gonna you know bitch and moan and. Their jobs, they got oh. kids, you know, you know. And if they and do the school choice, then public schools are dead and 48% of government government employees are education employees. So public schools should be dead anyway. It's the single most detrimental yeah, there, things yeah. this government's it, ever it created. It pretty much is. I can tell you right now in the state of Alabama and Montgomery, at least, it pretty much is dead. Anybody oh. who can doesn't send their kid to public school ever. Yeah, it's it's horrible. But are enough still doing it to keep them going. Well, you're forced to pay for them through your property tax. Well, I, I believe me, I know confiscate that. Confiscate your home. I, I believe I, I understand <laughs> that. I own a home, Dave. I, I know how that works. That's how the commies do it. Or, hey, if we don't, if you don't pay for us to indoctrinate your child, then we're gonna come steal your residence. <laughs> uh, unless you're in Philly, then they tax your sugary drinks for, uh, for schools. Yeah. You guys been following that or what? No. Uh, that? no, but that sounds that sounds like something that's believable. The. Uh, the soda tax uh, inside the city of Philadelphia. Oh yeah, I remember here. They, uh, I remember when it started. I stopped paying yeah, attention. Yeah, one to it. one and a half cents per ounce tax on soda. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so like a twenty <laughs> a twenty ounce soda is going to cost you an extra thirty cents. And but the uh, did you guys the, hear that India like what, kicked Coke out have. or something? They have. Oh, you keep stepping over, Jason. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say that. Uh, uh, soda sales in the city are already down like 40%. And one distribution company has already cut like 56 employees. And Pepsi Cola just announced that they're going to cut like 100 employees. And the mayor of Philadelphia is angry that the companies, that the stores and whatnot, are actually charging the sales tax to the customers instead of just biting the bullet and cutting into their <laughs> profits. <laughs> Does does this guy not know how that that works? No, uh, uh, no. He either doesn't, not or he's or he's, or he's feigning stupidity because well, he ha <laughs> he has to to save face because um because <laughs> that was a city ordinance, right? So didn't he have to sign off yeah, on that yeah, in some way? Yeah, yeah just in the city of Philadelphia, he yes. could just be some bum. Well, yeah, he could, they, he could just be some Bloomberg, retard. <laughs> well, Bloomberg Bloomberg tried Bloomberg tried that in New York City, and it never it never managed to get passed. 
Uh, but yeah, I remember when F- F- Philly was, I think Philly was the first, I think in a couple other places have now too, but I'm pretty sure Philly was the first successful one to do it. And, you know, and it, and it's, it's, it, the only people who win in that deal are the crazy people who, who think they deserve to control other people's lives and don't want other people drinking soda because they, they're the people who, who, for who the syntax is a wonderful thing. They think the idea of a syntax yeah. is beautiful because oh. it helps it helps shape society in a quote unquote yeah. better way. Yeah. Vices and, are well, crimes. I, yes, but people don't Thank understand you, that, that. What that is is that's price fixing as well because the corporation has no response but to tax the price that they're being taxed onto the product. Well, of course, yeah. that's, they have to. Well, they don't have so to. So when you they, lobby your city council to, or whatever, you, the listener here, when you lobby your city council or whatever to put more tax on something, just know that's more money coming out of your pocket. The, the corporation is never paying that tax. They're either packing up their shit and leaving or you're paying it. That's right. Well, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, anytime you try to tax anything, that's usually the, that's, it usually has the opposite of, the quarter, of, the, of what's supposed to be the desired effect. Uh, you know, just like kind of like when you put tariffs on people and claim it's going to, hurt, it's they're going to pay for things, and it's like, well, no. If you want to buy stuff <laughs> from them, you're going to be paying for it. You know, <laughs> look, Colorado is so awesome. They legalized and taxed weed. Oh, you mean that there are men in Colorado that will shoot you if you try to sell untaxed marijuana? Wow, that's insane. Not not only that, but the uh, the black market cannabis sales in Colorado actually went up because it is cheaper to buy on the black market than it is to go to well, a yeah. a licensed distribution center and is pay the taxes. It, of course, is it? Didn't they put like a, some insane like thirty percent tax on it? I, thought. I, I think I think it's like yeah, I think it's, it's like it's ridiculous. It's still the the price distortion. I think it's like twenty two percent. Okay, insane. so I, I overshot it a little bit then. But either way, it's it's still a, like any, anything above what. Because some some state, state state sales taxes, I think, are absurd. You know, I mean, even here in Mine New York, eleven percent where I lived, I moved to nine. I was like, I'm not sitting here at eleven. That's that's, that's still like you know, like to take people's money like that for every th- little thing you buy within the state. It's just insanity. <laughs> Ten cents of every dollar. Yep. <laughs> Which is why when this, why Bill Bill Buper put out a piece a couple of years ago where he fig, where he put all the different taxes together and pretty much figured out that you essentially end up somehow paying like a hundred percent. Yes, you're <laughs> in America. You're taxed one hundred percent. Yeah, because you if you add up everything you get taxed for, and then even if you get money back, it's just your money to begin with. But then you still manage to get like double. Like there's ways they can double tax you. <laughs> Well, it's like when I was when I was in the army, they paid me via taxes, and I had to pay taxes on my tax money that paid me. It's like so getting paying a power taxes strip on tax and, and money. plugging it right back into itself, and then trying to plug other stuff into it. Well, exactly, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Infinite, infinite energy, which is why it's infinite yeah, Bernie, if we just I call tax that the, the Bernie taxes, Sanders we'll have, power, the yeah, Bernie Sanders right. power plan. That's what I call that. <laughs> well, yeah, if we just tax the taxes. We'll have tax money forever. I mean, it just makes perfect sense, doesn't it, Andre? Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what it is, is is it wouldn't be fair for one class of slaves to not pay taxes. That's that's what wouldn't be fair. Not, hey, yeah. let's just pay government workers a lesser rate and not tax them. No, that thought never crosses anyone's mind. No. No, they pay, no. Them, they pay, them, they pay them more money and they tax them. And <laughs> then tax them because reasons well no the, no the reason is because they can get more they can get more of their their quote quote unquote their own money back by doing that because if they did if they did what you described they don't get any more, back they, well, would just they have can't to, print the money you're right uh uh-huh. well, no they are they because that that way if they if they pay a higher rate and then they can tax at a higher rate they they collect more of the money that they've stolen and then handed out. They collect more of it back to play with and do the same type of crap again. What was okay? So Whereas paying are, what you're saying, paying doing what you're saying and paying them lower and then not taxing them, that just means they're giving money out and they're not getting any of it back again right away. It's taxception. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Bomb. <laughs> tax. To me, it's there just it's, it creates more government jobs because then that's more people that have to process all the government workers' taxes and. And so on and so forth, but well, yeah, that too. Tax the, tax the taxes there, to keep there are serious bills on 
on the on the on the in the Senate in the House and everything to eliminate the FDA, eliminate the EPA, to do all these crazy removal of quote unquote unconstitutional <laughs> uh, uh, programs that have came about that are regulating ci the citizens to absolute death. Like it is chains on everyone's necks and ankles. Yeah, it is insane. Well, what but, happens if the EPA and the FDA and all this goes like what happens? Like I can't, I, we've never lived in it, but no, if the, what see, would happen? Well, part of the well, people would die in the streets. Well, I'm no, sorry, go ahead. Well, go ahead, I was going to say, cause part of the argument for clo for uh, abolishing the EPA in the first place f from libertarians over the years who wanted to try to be, you know, diplomatic about it was you don't necessarily need it because each state has its own EPA essentially in some form or another anyway. So it, exactly. So what happens? Well, maybe the quote unquote national parks may be temporarily affected in some way by not being able to be covered by the EPA, but the state, the states will just take control of those things and yeah. they will have their own regulations. And if there's aren't regulations that are up to the quote, what the federal snuff was to begin with, they'll just make more of them. Mm -hmm. And, and <laughs> if, if, you know, Trump's thing of, you know, uh, every one you have to remove two is stays in play. That doesn't matter because now it's on the states, so that doesn't get affected. They can keep cranking them up as much as they want. <laughs> so you're, you're it, absolutely right. I don't see I don't see how that really benefits anybody in the long run, except the money that doesn't that no longer well, goes it does to the EPA. The tax, well, no, the taxes. It, it well, no, it not the central. Well, but for that, but yeah, exactly, but. That doesn't necessarily mean that there will be a reduction from the federal government in taxes. That no, money, no, it doesn't. No, most, I didn't insinuate most, that at well, all. No, no, I know, but more, <laughs> I'm just saying more likely than not, it will be passed on somewhere. It'll be moved somewhere else that you'll still be charged oh, for. Oh, it'll move to the army. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we cut the EPA. Here's $8 billion more to oh, the yeah, army. Yeah, here's the, you, you wanted $54 <laughs> billion, right? So uh, here you go. We're going to cut a couple. Look, of, guys, we cut the EPA. Maybe that's what, what he's going to do. He's going to cut, he's gonna cut exactly all of the what other he's agencies. Do. Well, I mean... Even even if they it's cut budget the neutral, even if they cut the EPA, they're just going to roll over the responsibilities in the budget to like I don't know, fish and game, the military, nas national forest. It's, a Black it's, Hawk will be enforcing the uh, the the, <laughs> yeah, the the fishing licenses. Oh. oh, you built a you built a dam on your on your creek going through your property. Yellow Yellowstone, come you, kick you, your door in with an M60. Yellowstone will and, now be a militarized zone. citizen. Stop <laughs> fishing and present your license. Uh, well, I don't, I, I don't I don't know if I want to think about that much of a dystopian future, but you, you know, I left it at the house. Yeah. So you just get fifty round fifty uh, caliber. <laughs> Just <laughs> gone. <laughs> just gone. Citizen, next. this is fish and game. <laughs> Present your license. Oh boy. Well, no, nah, yeah. man. They'll have to let us have little drones out there, you know. <laughs> and then you got to go to the liberal nightmare. If the EPA gets abolished, then there's going to be, you know, uh, power companies dumping everything and everywhere, and people pissing and shitting and everything. <laughs> Oh yeah, this, it's going to be like disease and because and you know their belief in the false security everywhere. market. Well, that's like if the if the FDA got suddenly just abolished, you know, drugs would just be killing everybody. We would you know be eating metal in our foods. You know, people would just be dying in the streets. Uh, no, you know, bathtub medications would just come out of nowhere, and everybody would just be like getting the worst kind of contraband ever because that's of course what would happen without the FDA because reasons mm -hmm. oh yeah. yeah of course as soon as the fda disappears everybody wants to poison and kill their own customers that's totally <laughs> the way it's going to work jason i got a quick question and i wanted to see if we could wrap up on this topic could we build the religion around freedom and then get religious protection from the government for freedom activities go um go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh i don't know it's hard to say because religion says you have to do this and this and this freedom says you can do whatever you want yeah. So I, if our religion is doing whatever the fuck we want, then yes, hand hand me a strainer so I can put it on my head and let's go do it. Let's, let's all let's <laughs> I let's like all this. get let's all get five hundred one seed and be what taxed. The, yeah, all you need is five people uh, and a, a building and claim a church and then that's it. Basically. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. there's four of us here. We need one more. 
And one of us mm-hmm. has to put our house up. So I guess Dave, that's you or me, right? Or no, my, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm looking. Have to, all all great cults are based in California. We're gonna have to pack up and move, boys. Right, Jason, it's you. God no. Oh God! No. If you guys if you guys come here, you guys are gonna hate it. California. Oh, I know. So I'm I don't, from there. Trust yeah, me. Wait a minute. I'm, I left. Wait. It, it says five people and 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 a place to a place of I guess worship. Do do all five of us actually have to be at the place of worship at all times? No. I don't know. Uh, could it? Could the place of worship be Fiend Phone server? Well, no. No, just, I think it has to be a physical mark? location. If you could, no, that's what Damn I'm saying. It. If you have to designate, designate a physical location, you just pick one of our one of our places of where we, you know, one of our houses. Yeah. And we meet if, once a decade, uh, to if, and we just haven't had our decade meeting yet. Yeah, exactly. What if? What if we just had it we last had, year? You guys just missed it. It was great. You should have come. We'll take some pictures. Yeah. We'll put like a you know put no timestamp on them, and we'll just we be got like, other <laughs> shoppers on deck. <laughs> that's right. This is easy. This is wait, easy wait, stuff. I got I got the solution. I got the solution. Satellite campuses. We have one satellite. central, and then and then the rest of us we can have our own homes be. <laughs> well, everybody, sat- Scientology, satel- this shit. Satellite campuses. Wherever you oh, are, yes. and, and the be- and the beauty of our religion is wherever you are is your satellite campus. Yes, if yes. you can connect, yes. if the you spirit can, of liberty is within you, it, it resides in you. <laughs> if you can connect to another member of the church, either physically or through text or email or phone call or. Uh, Facebook or anything, then you are still, you know, you're you're all good. So that's all that matters. Oh, I'm totally well, going to be way, physically, let's see if, if you know what I mean. Let's Whoa. see what it takes to get religious exemption. Uh, let's, we got to outline some commandments for freedom and all this. Like, it, it, it's against the freedom to pay taxes, number one. Um <laughs> No, one. There should only be. There only needs to be a couple. You know, like one of them. Like you know, thou shalt not hit either people, other people or take their shit. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> or pay. You have to outline it, okay? See, they didn't even shit. outline the Second Amendment perfectly. It should have been like, y'all motherfuckers can't touch these motherfuckers' guns ever. Don't even think about it, or Ooh, you could be shot in public. Like Ooh, it should have been we could, worded like that. We could get Rand to do all of the uh, the visual graphic stuff, oh, like Rand, brochures Rand and stuff. Yes. We could have our own watchtower go. newsletter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Let's get this going, guys. Yeah. Well, I, I, I why am going. I so stupidly excited about this? I never actually, I still haven't actually gotten or gotten my you know, online ordaining yet, which I meant to do. But technically, I started a church. I didn't officially start it, but, you know, we could run it through there, too. You know, we the, already got the Church a of, of Immaculate Secession. Yes, the Church of the Immaculate of the Immaculate Ooh, Secession. That's good. That's catchy. That's I know, catchy. right? <laughs> <laughs> I had the a bunch. I, I had a bunch of. I had a bunch of people that liked the page when I is first started. Is that where you, su- you you secede from the state with no violence involved? Is that yes. is that an immaculate secession? Yes. Uh, so, this might be the ticket, Jeremy. Yes, I never because really it's, thought of it. In this because angle. it's a, it's an individualist church, so it's the individual secession. So yes, if you can do it peacefully, then it's definitely immaculate. <laughs> Yes, but make I was, yourself great again. I had a bunch of likes when I first started the page that quickly left uh, shortly thereafter because I think they actually thought I was a church because the name was so catchy that people were just like, oh, that sounds nice. And then they looked and like, oh, this is not what I thought it was. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> this is this is chaos. Oh. This is Satan's plan. That was that I have was, the doctor. That was a pro. <laughs> uh, I try not to do Alex Jones. Every, I'll do Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> he was approved the damn is going to drown Jason. Axel Jonas. <laughs> yes, Dave and his tinfoil wars, right, Dave? Tinfoils. Yeah, I bought tinfoil wars. I bought the domain uh, tinfoilwars.com. And, uh, dot com. And we're going we're gonna to figure something out with that soon. TM, trademark on the soon there. I'm looking forward to that one. I'll I'll totally I'll totally put out articles and content for it. Like, I haven't oh, yeah. done blogging in a while, and I would love to get back into it. Okay, well, you got to have a sense of humor. Are you kidding going, me? Who are you talking only, to? We're going like it's it's got to be like uh well, uh, we're all Loch anarchists Ness or monsters libertarians spotted in so, it, you know, whatever. He's talking to potentially a, of a bunch of Asperger ass people, so, you know, sense of humor isn't necessarily Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> I mean, just one post here or there on a certain site and tinfoil war, wars goes viral. So, we just got to come Oh correct. god, yes. 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 <laughs> I just got to come correct, boys. 
Well, we gotta have the, you gotta listen, have the, folks. I got water filters and I got beta blockers and I got all kinds of. <laughs> no, I to, I, I to, like, I, like I was telling our friend Merrick Van Landingham earlier. No, no, no. We gotta have like if we're gonna go parody, you gotta even parody the uh, the stuff that we're selling. Like it's not because he said you know the the colloidal. Oh, so like it, this is shit like, to put stuff in your water. Well, yeah, stuff like yeah. that. <laughs> We got water Florida nation. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like <laughs> we got we got filters that add fluoride to your water. You ever heard? So you can be real good and baseline toned out on life. There's a there's a couple of there's a couple of commercials that Michael and and or his wife uh, did for the Freedom Fiends. If you've ever if you've never heard them, that are really good. That are like that. Like one of them is for a pill called Compliacin. To give to, to give to your kids to make that to make that you know I love cat muff yeah oh cat, yeah cat muff, yeah. yeah what is that uh, <laughs> citizens against citizens against more uh, unadulterated freedom citizens united for more I can't remember no it's cat, yeah cat muffs citizens against the oh whatever anyway against yeah it's it's it's, it's, it's anti freedom <laughs> stuff and it's hysterical so yeah, you're gonna have you do to edit like this out Jeremy I don't I'm not worried about it <laughs> no. So yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, so we're gonna make go all the way. Make a, a freedom religion. That. Get it five hundred one c three. That's the plan. So we need a, uh, we need our ten commandments. So let's work on that, guys. Email the show at uh, the seeds of liberty uh, dot, com, dot uh, What is it? The seeds of liberty podcast at gmail dot com. I don't. We'll, know. we'll start this cult up. Sure. There we go. I've always wanted <laughs> to be part of a cult. <laughs> weren't you though? Like, weren't you in one though? <laughs> Technic- yeah, actually, weren't you in a cult? Well, yeah, okay, technically, but it wasn't really fun. It was actually really, really awful. Most terrible. cults aren't fun, Andre. <laughs> well, yeah, but I want to be part of one of the fun ones. This sounds like a fun cult. Most, it most sounds like, cults. It sounds like one where I would want to drink the Kool Aid. Let me put it that but way. But see, here's my <laughs> thought. Like, I've thought about this a little more in depth than I'm, I'm uh, preluding here, but uh, it's hard to brainwash people into being a, a self thinking, critical, you know, individualist <laughs> it's uh it's really easy to dupe them into being a follower and it's uh, that's the trick is is how do you how do you build a, a large group of people that realize that they're an individual that realize that their voice matters uh, you know what it, it's hard actually i i i disagree with you i disagree with you only insofar as it can be done but it requires the same methods like it, it essentially requires torture like you have to drag somebody into hell into like a stone basement with no with the light on all the time and loud music blaring into their ears until they want to like scratch their ears off and you just have to come down and repeat to them over and over and over again you are a free individual reject <laughs> arbitrary authority well, and you see, do that for 6 months and it will become so ingrained in their brain that they will yeah, not be able to think ingre- any aggressive. other way well, I know. I'm just saying it can be done. I'm not saying it's, oh, it's yeah. the right way. I'm just saying it can be done. It's possible. Well, yeah, of course. But psychological programming only lasts for so long, man. Well, yeah, and but see, somebody the, the is beautiful- convinced against something against their will, then they're eventually going to reject it, man. Not yeah, but see, the beautiful part about it is know. where we are Death we are happens. putting truth into their minds. So even then, once it wears off, they'll or they'll realize. My God, that was horrible what that's, I went through. That's why, but like, they weren't wrong. <laughs> I, I don't agree with your, your torture tactics here, Andre, but I, I do agree with some of the uh, r- uh, rhetoric uh, tactics that people take with the just the over-the-head lambasting of, of certain people that espouse certain ideas. Uh, I, I think that a, a, sh- a shock every so often to people's uh, pattern or their thought patterns is, is, is good. It's more than warranted. Uh, and these people that want to baby everyone drive me nuts. Like, I agree. Like, I just up. think it should be accompanied by a shock to the balls as well, <laughs> with preferably with a car battery and alligator clamps. Why? I hey think it would now. work. Why are we- okay, so <laughs> don't get Andre too drunk around you guys. That's just a good heads up from the old Davester here. Oh, I'm hey, just, don't I, tempt I, I me we with talking. a good time. You, that, you mean that's not the initiation into the church? <laughs> no, that's what we do for fun, boss. Well, oh, it, okay. It, All right. I sure hope not, or at least, at least hope. I hope that's a, that's I'm a out of the mill. Friday I'm already night. out of this church, boys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it got really, it escalated way too hard for me. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, as with as with all cults, you know, eventually the the good leadership will give way to the insane psychopaths, 
and then we will initiate you know ritualistic prodding of testicles with alligator clamps attached to car batteries Ugh. yeah and that's going to be a thing that's going to be the road to liberty Yes, but at that point, people like so. us would, would have been grandfathered in, so we wouldn't necessarily have to worry about it. So, I mean, is it really that bad? If that's... I'm sorry, I'll stop, I'll stop talking about alligator clamps and testicles. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Not a good show title, but uh, I wouldn't mind if I saw it. I disagree, it in the actually. I, uh, I, think I wouldn't actually, mind uh... if I saw it in the RSS feed. I'd be like, ooh, I'm going to have to listen to this. <laughs> oh man yeah yeah I screw it that's the show, show title that's, that's that's some straight clickbait right there i love that we gotta go with that that's <laughs> we gotta go i'm just glad i contributed something thank there, you there you go andre i'm honored you, you contributed <laughs> to dave's nightmares all <laughs> it made this entire good, made this entire good. process and this weird turn that we've taken worth it i guess <laughs> that you got that you, that you made your <laughs> yeah, contribution that, that would even made my beard curl yeah so maybe we should maybe we should move on from that (laughs) yes let's let's step away from any more of us suffer something else uh, traumatic experiences as a result so why why don't you guys what can you do to top that i don't know what yeah i say we wrap this 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 shindig up let's let's say uh let's say a uh quick uh goodbye from everybody I think that's. Uh, I guess that's a good. Ooh, idea. do you want? Rather well, we could do tonight. a prayer from the Church of the Immaculate Secession. <laughs> 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 you are free. Go away. And, and, Get off my lawn. Father, Father, Jer- <laughs> Father Jeremy can lead us in a prayer. You. you all right. <laughs> you. You, oh, you, you, you are free. The state is, is the state is a belief system that you need that you can reject. Stop acting like you can't. Amen. Get off my lawn. Amen. No, 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 no. There's no amen. <laughs> no, no, th- no. You say. I you say get off my lawn harumph. instead of amen. No harumph. I just watched Blazing Saddles last night. It's a harumph. Oh, harumph. Harumph. <laughs> harumph. Harumph. I need a harumph from everybody. Harumph. Uh oh. Harumph. Uh-oh. Harumph. So what happens hey, when our harumph. show plays in Malaysia, right? And there's like ten thousand motherfucking Malaysian men running at the capital saying harumph. Okay, I need. <laughs> <laughs> Vi- that video would, or you know what? That would be incredible. Yeah, revolution yeah. right there. And then I'm getting locked. I'm I'm wanted by the Malaysian Secret Service. No, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> don't speaking do of, it, actually, Malaysia. Speaking of which, they, they, speaking of which, they before can't we even wrap keep up, track of their own I don't think they're going to find you, Dave. They'll be you'll be fine. They can't even find their planes. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon, bro. Too soon. Snap. Ouch. Snap. Ouch. <laughs> Well, Anywho. I guess that's it from us here at the Seeds of Liberty podcast. <laughs> on that note, well, Jason, thank you for for coming on again. Uh, right. What what do you what do you want to plug any of your pages before we get going? <laughs> All right, um, you can find me on uh, Facebook at uh, a Wolf in a Sheep's World, the Voluntary Agrarian. I can't remember the other pages. That's right. So yeah, Wolf in Sheep's World, Voluntary Agrarian. Those are two main ones I'm posting on. Or hit me up on my personal at facebook.com slash Jace Booth, J-A-S-B-O-O-T-H-E, and on Twitter at the, uh, at the same handle. All right. And Andre, it's good good to have you on again. So do you have anything you need to plug before we get going? Or uh, No, I don't have anything to plug. I've just kind of been uh, withdrawn for a little while. I've got some personal stuff going on. I'm still trying to mm-hmm. finish proofing and editing the book I'm publishing with Rand and just What's personal the- stuff going on. So. What's right. the name of that book going to be? You got any uh, I hot tips? I have that? no idea. Alligator <laughs> clamps and testicles. <laughs> this is nice. Well, that'll, that'll be a hot look, seller, buddy. We're gonna, we're that'll gonna that'll, that'll, that'll sell. Look on, that'll sell. That'll look good on the you just got to write a, a steamy sex scene in the middle, and women will eat it up, apparently. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> we're going to get a lot of <laughs> Well, see, that's, that's the trick, though. It's the title draws them in, but there's actually no sex scenes at all. So they're going to read through the whole book thinking that, oh, well, eventually next chapter it's going to happen. But it doesn't. There you go. But it yeah. doesn't. And at <laughs> that point, at, at that point, it's too far gone because they already bought the book. It's the I don't ultimate care. edging. It's the ultimate <laughs> edging. It never comes. Uh, Alligator clamps. You'll, you'll get that joke later, guys. No, um, no, no, I'm almost afraid I asked. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for having me on again, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, you can check me out on uh, tenfulwars.com and <laughs> the seeds of liberty.com. <laughs> yeah. Axel Jonas, look for it. Uh, it's gonna be huge, uh, huge. We're gonna go with with something funny, some huge. kind of parody name. So, all right. Well, 
This has been the Seeds of Liberty podcast. All of our information can be found at theseedsofliberty.com. And we'll catch you next time. Peace. 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 Tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's Antiwar.com sick of government lackeys who say you didn't build that are you tired of elitists who think you need a government permission slip for everything everything you do is an a to b conversation and the government should see their way out of it create true free markets by adopting the bipcot no government license the bipcot no gov license allows use or modification of any product service or software except by governments or government agents go to bipcot.org that's bravo india papa charlie oscar tango.org